Hi everybody, it's Faith with Abstract Possibilities. We're going to do a review today over the Master's Brush Cleaner and Preserver. A lot of uh, artists I've seen have recommended it, so I thought that I would try it. Here's a picture of it so you know what you're looking at if you choose to go online and order it. I am not being sponsored at all and have no affiliate links for this product. It's just something I wanted to try. This is the first time doing it and my brush is in sore need of it. That is what it looks like. That uh, container has warm water is what is asked you to uh, provide per the instructions. I'm just showing you my brush. It's kind of got a pink hue to it, but there's more paint down just kind of nestled in it. And the container actually turned like a little pink. That soap stuff turned pinkish. And I'd heard uh, that if you, you know, soak your Soak your brush real good in it so it gets all the way through the bristles, all the way down to the base, and then let it sit for a while. It will also help preserve the integrity of your brush. And as you can tell, some of my brushes are so stiff because they just got such a you know amount of paint lodged still in them that they were hardly even moving while I was putting them in the container. I did a lot more than what I showed on here to let them set. See, look, it's so stiff, it's like poking holes into it. Oh my goodness, I'm so hard on my brushes. But every time it gets wet, I notice that it, you know, it is taking some of the paint off of it because the container is changing, you know, the hue of it's changing from the white so you can see remnants of it. So we go along here, I do several different size brushes and trying to get that soap far down in there as I can get it. Kind of like doing a deep scrub on your head or your animals and stuff when you want to get down deep to the roots. And that's what I chose to do with several of the brushes. It doesn't have a bad odor and I'm highly sensitive to smell being that I'm on oxygen and it wasn't anything that was too strong to take my breath away so I was okay with that. I always have to be on the lookout for things like that. But it wasn't. It's kind of a soapy smell but nothing overbearing. And there's me showing you what I've done. Then I turned off the camera and let it get hard. All that stuff is that what you're seeing is the hard soap on there. And if you notice, I have actually have paint on the metal part of my brushes. This water was white and you can tell that it is turning. Um, some of it is the soap, but a lot of it's the paint um, that's coming off of the brushes. And it's even taking the paint right off the metal part. And I know it has a specific name. I just don't know what it is right offhand. My memory is not telling me. And at this point, I forget to show you this particular brush, but I will show you them going on here. And you have to keep, I notice the thicker the paint is in there, you kind of have to work it a little bit with your fingers, but it comes right out. That soap just takes it out in chunks. It, I was pretty impressed with it. I didn't realize how bad my brushes were until I started this process. So there is one of my bigger flat brushes, one of my oldest brushes. And look at the water changing colors. It's getting really muddy. Some of it again is the soap, but most of the color changing is that it's taking paint right off the, the brushes. So, so far I'm impressed with it. And I started noticing that, you know, I can move my brush, my bristles better. That's me testing it, making sure I get all the soap out and that the paint's coming off. And I start to check uh, to see how my bristles are moving. See, I'm showing you there. I was, I was impressed. And that they move all the way down because that brush was like stiff about halfway through. You can kind of still see where it's a little discolored but it's moving so I got the paint out it's just discolored and there's another one of my brushes and I didn't move my hand out of the way I apologize for that and this one you can see start seeing chunks of paint floating around in that water isn't that crazy I'm gonna I need to just sit down and do all of my brushes that way rinsing them in water is just not good enough. You really do need something to clean them with and this 
master's brush cleaner seems to be doing the trick. It's very easy. It's not um, something you have to really stress over. It just spin it around a little bit, work it with your fingers, and it's coming right off. If you have it, I, I know that there's Amazon links. I know I bought mine at Hobby Lobby. Um, that's my angle brush. I bought mine in Hobby Lobby. It was uh, $9.99, but I had the 40% coupon. So I think I paid like $6 for it. And um, I'm going to be doing all of my brushes with it when I have time to spare where I can just sit down and do them. I have so many projects right now. I can't see how nasty the water is getting. Goodness gracious. It's crazy. But this was just a quick product review I wanted to show um, to see, you know, I've heard so much about it. I wanted to make sure that it actually worked the way I've been hearing that it does. And from this first initial test over two, four, six, seven brushes that I did, it's it's the brushes have come back and um, I can do my bristles, even my scrumbling brush. I did one of my scrumbling brushes and those are the hardest hit. Those are the ones that, you know, take the most beating. And I, uh, it, it really helped it a lot. I think I've added life to my scrumbling brush because you guys know I like to do that. Oh, let's see, I'm showing you there how that brush is doing better. I'm trying to show you how my see the bristles are moving again. So yes, I do need to sit down with the rest of my brushes. Now I'm going to show you them all that I the ones that I finished cleaning while I was doing this little video to show you how much better they look. They look so much better. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends. It really does help the channel when you comment and when you subscribe. Make sure you click the bell so you can know when I put out new videos. Have a wonderful day.